welcome everybody to uh, Metal Talk Monday. And um, before we get started, obviously we got yep, we got our uh, new merchandise out there. We got the Hanhoff uh, Hanhoff film shirts. Got the logo here. You get a handsome Hanson one. Yep. Uh, Offenator one coming. B and E's Metal Talk Monday, as suggested by Landlord Six Six Six. Which thank you for watching our videos. Uh, we we merely do this for fun. Yeah. Uh, the merchandise is not going to be a way so we can like finance the channel and all that. It's just for fun. These these are going to be cheap, dumb, maybe five dollars a piece. I also might think about like if MTM keeps going, maybe making patches with the yeah, logo. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Uh, buttons, stickers, pins, hats, whatever you want. Like we're not going to be like here's our store, buy our shit. But it's kind of like whatever you want. It's like we'll see. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Um, the main, we, main topic is talking about Black Sabbath and s specifically their debut album from 1970. If we continue to talking about bands and their whole yeah. discographies, we will run out of episodes. And we don't want to do that because we like doing this. Yeah. Um, plus time crunches and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is what? Like, technically the first heavy metal album? Oh, yeah. What better way to start talking yeah. about individual albums without oh, this yeah. one? And, of course, Paranoid came the, out the yeah. same year. But yeah. Get that some other time. Uh, this. Uh, That's this. what started all metal. It's... This, you know, I was watching a video today, and this cover got voted one of the scariest covers of all yeah. time. It's personally my favorite cover from Black Sabbath. It is I think it cool. looks awesome. Yeah. I mean, this is actually like what an actual like photograph. And yeah, it is. Because this place really exists. Yeah, I know it does. It and, exists like they're home from Birmingham. And um, Birmingham, England, not Alabama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, the album cover itself is like, I remember one the day I bought this, uh, I bought Kiss's Destroyer and this in the same day, mm -hmm. the dude looks at both of them and he goes, this is the greatest shit you can find, you might as well put Kiss away. Yeah. Like, I mean. Oh yeah. It, for the longest, I think this one actually is my favorite Sabbath album. Not my favorite. For the longest, it's probably my second favorite, I should say, but it, for the longest time it used to be my first favorite. Not my favorite, yeah. but, um. It's definitely started it all, like. This is, uh... It's great. And what's cool is, like, we probably know all of the songs on guitar. Like, this album yeah, is very it's, short. It's short, but a lot of the songs on here are, like, fused in together. So there's songs on here, like, number five. Like, how, like it has three songs on it. Mm -hmm. But te technically, there's only five songs on here, but they're all put together. So technically, there's actually... Eleven? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's actually, I think this album is a misprint yeah. because it's showing multiple songs on here. Uh -huh. And when you get to the CD, it says six on here yeah. and five on the CD. Yeah. Because it counts NIB as a totally different song, which yeah. honestly, it it's is, honestly, yeah, but it it's is. not a different track. Huh. It's still with the Wasp behind the wall and basically. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, when I first heard the song Black Sabbath, mm -hmm. wasn't really hooked because, like, you know how they had that long intro? Yeah. I wasn't hooked at all. Yeah. And then I just heard, bow, 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 and I was just like, whoa, this is so simple, but like, yeah. it it's so simple, away. but at the time it was so evil sounding, like no other yeah. band was like, when is, I don't know, I guess it's like evil sounding as them. And The Wizard, uh, great harmonica song. Yeah. When I first heard it, I thought, man, this is kind of corny, like, but like, yeah. I, I, it I, is, I but it. it's very, uh, yeah. Um, out of all the, like, the Lost Behind the Wall, basically, NIV, NIB is probably not my favorite song in there. Yeah. It basically isn't either. I, I'd yeah. probably say the first part of that song, The Wasp and Behind the Wall, mm -hmm. I like that part a yeah. lot. And um, can't go wrong with NIB. Oh, yeah, NIB is probably their biggest hit off of this song. But Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know the CD. <laughs> That's why you get vinyl. The last two tracks, A Bit of Fingers, Sleeping Village, and Morning. This is probably, track number five is my favorite off this list. Like, mm -hmm. it starts off very slow sounding and kind of, I don't know, just, it has like an acoustic intro, and then it goes into like a lot, I don't know, it's basically just a big jam song. Yeah. There's no lyrics to, oh, there's lyrics at the end of it, but it's just a big jam song, and it's, I just love it. Sabbath was so good at like... I don't know, they were so good at just jamming, jamming just improvising like, on the spot. Um, yeah. And you can tell it's very bluesy, they got a lot of blues in oh, yeah. inspiration, and like, they also got inspired by Zeppelin, of course, a lot. Heavy metal wasn't really, like, a thing yet. Yeah. I mean, you had a few metal songs, like, yeah. uh, In the God of the Vita. Yeah. And, I mean, it's uh, at, the, at the time, it was considered 
harder music, but nowadays it's like considered oh, very, very classic yeah. rock. I don't know people who don't like Black Sabbath, but yeah. like Ozzy, respectively. Yeah. But um, and they say like, oh, well, I don't like Black Sabbath, but I like other metal bands. Yeah. I mean, that's cool and everything, but it's always good to go back to the roots. Yeah. yeah. And so honestly, Black Sabbath is one of my you can't favorite bands. Yeah. I mean, it's so simple, but it's so heavy. It's so thick sounding. It's full sounding. Like right now, my current favorite band is Death. Yeah. I've been listening to those, oh, yeah. to that band. Like, I've been. Li- Hardcore into death. Yeah, I remember when I went through that phase. I I would listen to them every day. I still love death, but I don't listen to them as much as what I used to. I used to listen to them all the time a few months ago. I go from listening to death and autopsy and suffocation and cattle decapitation, Uh and then I'll just go back to Black Sabbath and Iron Maiden. And you can't you can't beat it. I mean, you can always go back and listen to this. It's enjoyable every time you listen to it. Yeah, and 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 it's also not very like. Oh, I know a lot of people don't like technical music a lot, like stuff yeah. that's all over the place. Yeah. Sabbath is not all. It's over very the place. simple bluesy jam style type Doom of doom metal. Yeah. Like, and it's groovy, I guess. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Everyone, you know what's funny about Black Sabbath? Everyone always says that like, no, oh, they're a bunch of Satanists, devil worship. No. Nowadays, yeah. that's nothing. Like nobody no. cares. Nobody about. really cares. At but, the time, they thought it was evil, but. But honestly, if you listen to their, they songs, basically just said they wanted to write the most scariest music like about horror and stuff because they were tired of like. Uh, Back in the early days, the bands at the time, all they wrote about is, like, happy stuff. And they, yeah. like, where they grew up, at, like, it was a very depressing area. Like, it was always, like, the weather was terrible and stuff like that. A bunch of factories and stuff. And they just wrote about how they felt. Yeah. And they but, just wanted to write music that sounded like horror and stuff like that. And if, honestly, like, if they're, if they're not, you could tell they're not really, like, okay, like, songs about evil and Satan, they're yeah. cool and stuff. But, like, you can honestly tell that these guys are not Satanists. No. Not devil worshiping. I mean, it's cool that they do that whole shtick, but like, yeah. honestly, if you listen and you actually listen to the lyrics that Ozzy's singing, because we can't forget, didn't even mention that Ozzy Osbourne sings on this, and when most yeah. people hear that, they're like, what? Yeah. Ozzy? Black Sabbath? Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. Um, I mean, yeah. I do I mean, want to talk about every era of Black Sabbath. Yeah. And honestly, definitely. Ozzy... Ozzy's the best era of Sabbath. I mean, Dio is still good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's Tony a great Martin singer. Is okay. Yeah. And Glenn Hughes is like, eh, like, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, Deep Purple is Glenn Hughes' thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But if you listen to their lyrics and you actually, like, devour some of their songs in your mind, mm-hmm. they were just a bunch of peace-loving hippies just as bad yeah. as anyone else was. Yeah. Like, but they didn't sing about it all the time. Like, no. Planet Caravan. If, if it's, that, that yeah, song is not evil at all, that's not No, it's like album. a completely different sounding song. Like you would listen to it and think, wait, is that Black Sabbath? Yeah. It's like when you hear Beth and you're like, oh, that's cool. Who did that? Kiss? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's the ballad off of Paranoid, but it's um, really, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Black Sabbath did not completely, completely like uh, influence heavy metal. Yeah. Dave Grohl once said, without heavy metal, without Led Zeppelin, there would be no heavy metal. And exactly. if there was, it would suck. Yeah. But definitely Led Zeppelin, definitely. It's that, you can definitely tell you, a lot of the riffs on their sound, they got their inspiration from Zeppelin. I mean, they're completely different bands. They don't sound like at Which, all, but they got their inspiration. They weren't the heaviest band around no. at the time. They're just the ones who capitalize on it. Yeah. Because honestly, like, um, Grand Funk Railroad was around mm-hmm. for a while. Zeppelin, yeah. of course. Deep uh, Purple. Deep Purple and... Um, Jethro Tull. Jethro Tull. <laughs> yeah, Tony also, Iommi um, actually... Actually, he used to play for Jethro Tull before he joined Sabbath. Yeah, but there's also, uh... Steppenwolf. Yeah. Steppenwolf coined the term heavy metal, heavy metal thunder. Yeah. Uh, Iron Butterfly was doing heavy riffs. The Beatles were doing heavy riffs. Yeah. But Black Sabbath capitalized on it. Oh, first. yeah, they definitely, yeah. They were like, Beatles would have like one heavy song. The, yeah, with and Sabbath, they, the they made yeah, the whole album. One thing that I don't like about Black Sabbath's early days is the fuzzy solos. Yeah. Why they did that during the it sounds way It sounded way cooler whenever they play, would play it live. If you want to like, if you listen if to you Paranoid. Listen, yeah, like that fuzzy stuff, it, you can't really hear it. And then you hear it live and it's like, wow. It sounds like, Whoa, a lot better live. It's yeah. like they should have just did that on the album. Like that was pointless because no other solo on that album has that fuzzy sound. They just did I it just for that. that I know sound. it just sounds like awful. Yeah, but anything else about this album yeah. other than what we've said and the other stuff? Shtick. This actually has Ozzy's real name on it too. Yeah, like he he, he John, leaves, or his real name is John. John. Yeah, he leaves his 
real name on some albums. Yeah. And, and, like, most of them you find it just says Ozzy Osbourne, yeah. and this says songs written by Tony Iommi, John Osbourne, Terrence Butler, and William Ward. Like yeah. we all know them as Iommi, Ozzy. Uh, Geezer yeah. and Bill. Yeah, of course. And they have their real names on here, which yeah. is like, I, I think this was before the nicknames took Yeah, over. it was before they really got famous and stuff like that. Like, they were more of an underground band when this came out. Like, at the time, I remember I heard that Rolling Stones, whenever they first reviewed them, they said that, uh, just like Cream, but a lot worse. Because the critics hated them, but everyone loved them. Mm -hmm. Like, I personally love Black Sabbath more over Cream any day. Even though my favorite song comes from Cream. Yeah. And one of my favorite albums comes from Cream. Yeah. I gotta pick Black Sabbath. Of course. Cream? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's another band that was already heavy before. Oh, yeah, before. Cream, definitely. Cream is heavy as yeah. balls. Oh, yeah. At the time, like the late 60s, yeah, they were super heavy. Anything else? I mean... That's it? Whatever. <laughs> well... I mean, it's a simple, short album. <laughs> the songs are on there. There's a lot of long songs. I mean... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If you never listen to the album, um, just listen to it. You can't go wrong with their Sabbath debut album. It's the best. It's not the best Sabbath album, but no. But it's probably one it's of the best heavy metal albums. Definitely the heaviest. It's not the best. Yeah. Heaviest. Yeah. But how can you get better than this? It only got better from here for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, we might do a lot more Sabbath reviews in the future. Definitely. All different albums. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely Ozzy. So. Now we just gotta pick what's the next video. Yep. Other than that, I guess. I mean, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, let us know your top tracks on this album. What you think of it? Your personal favorite Sabbath albums. Mm -hmm. What you want us to do next? Yeah. I mean, we're we don't really do anything fun. We just stand here talking about know. passion. Yeah. But other than that, you know. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <sighs> no. Yeah. No.